Inviting a crowd over for Christmas breakfast? I think that it's time you learn how to make a strata. On Christmas morning, there is one place I do not want to be. That is the kitchen. I want to be by the tree. I want to be opening presents with my kids, having hot chocolate, and enjoying being with my family. So this is a perfect dish to prepare the night ahead so that Christmas morning, all you have to do is pop it in the oven and relax. This is a Christmas breakfast strata. So to start, I have a pan here over about medium high heat. I've got some sausage. This is breakfast sausage. Ground breakfast sausage you're just gonna put right in to your saute pan. You can already hear that sizzle. You can use turkey, beef, chicken, any kind of breakfast sausage you like. They even have some with seasoning in them, with thyme. Um, it's a really nice opportunity to use those kind of breakfast sausage because they're just gonna have this incredible aroma that's just gonna fill your kitchen and have everybody going, what's for breakfast? I wanna have that. All right, so you're gonna cook this up for about three minutes. So after a few minutes, when the sausage is starting to release some of its oils, and you can see it get a little bit brown, you wanna add your vegetables. I've got one red bell pepper here that I've got finely diced. Mix that in, and some mushrooms. Thinly sliced mushrooms. You can use white or cremini mushrooms. Uh, you could even use wild mushrooms if you like portobello or oyster mushrooms, shiitakes, really anything that you like. And that's sort of the point of a strata. If you've never had a strata before, it's a mi milk, bread, and egg mixture that's topped on top of crusty bread. Um, this is a great opportunity to use day-old bread in a recipe. All right, this has got about one more minute to go. So in my standing mixer, I've got 18 eggs. And I know you're thinking, that's a lot of eggs, but you're feeding a crowd, so, and it's really the body of the dish. Uh, one cup of milk, some fresh cracked pepper, and salt. Okay, just gonna, all you're doing for that is whisking it up. Super duper easy. Just trying to combine all the ingredients. All right, and then to it, I'm gonna add some grated cheese. This is, you know, it's a holiday. Use a really good cheddar. You can use a white cheddar, really any kind of good melting cheese with a lot of flavor, but our family likes a good Wisconsin cheddar. All right, so that's all done. This is all cooked up. And the mixer goes wild. <laughs> all right, to a big bowl, I'm now gonna add my bread, bread cubes. Again, you can use any kind of bread that you like that's got a nice hearty crust. I'm talking ciabatta, uh, a baguette, French bread, um, anything like that, just cut it up into cubes. You can let it stand overnight or you could toast it just till it's really dried out. You don't want to over toast it, just dried out. All right, I'm gonna put this now. Put that right there. I'm gonna pour my eggs right over. Get all that cheese, that's all that goodness going to combine this up. Even on my vegetables, I want to make sure to season them. So just even though they're almost finished, going to put a little bit of salt there just to give them a little bit more flavor so that there's some salt in the bread and egg cheese mixture and also in with the vegetables. And what you're trying to do here is just get that egg mixture to soak up into the bread. So you can just stir it, combine it and then add the vegetables in. Scoop them right in, super easy. And this is one of those dishes that everybody remembers. Just get a big scoop of it, it's fantastic. And super easy because all you're gonna do is put it into this dish, refrigerate it overnight so that you just pop it in the oven on Christmas morning. All right, so now just got all that combined. Right here, I've got a 13 by nine inch baking dish that I've greased. It's important to grease it just because you don't want anything to stick. Just pour all that in. Just like that. I get even every little last bit. I want all the cheese in, everything. Okay, 
else and spread it. Make sure that it's all even. Everything, just even push it down because you're wanting that you know, the milk and the eggs to absorb into the bread. There you go. Just gonna cover it with a piece of foil. And you're doing that to make sure that it cooks through completely. You're gonna cover it, put it into a 375 degree oven for about 30 minutes, and you're gonna uncover it for 20 minutes just to make sure it gets nice and golden on top. Mmm, now this is a Christmas breakfast strata. I'd say that everybody's gonna be pretty happy with this one. Got my hot cocoa all ready to go. For more fast, fresh, and easy recipes like this and more, check out Weelicious.com. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment below. Merry Christmas.